to start out this evening with some very good news. One of the individuals, corporations, um, one that frankly many times is the brought of some jokes and things like that, and doesn't have the, you know, maybe doesn't have the greatest reputation because, oh, those power people. My goodness, how incredible the National Grid has been in helping us out through this and how much they have stepped up. Folks, they've been amazing. Each and every time we start planning the next phase or a new project, almost whatever it is, all of a sudden there's someone from National Grid standing there saying, what can we do to help? What do you need? And it's, it's really overwhelming. And yet again, they're doing it again. They're doing it again. So I'm going to let her announce that. Melanie Littlejohn. Good evening. Uh, certainly it's, it's a pleasure to be here uh, once again with all of you. And like the mayor shared, you know, National Grid certainly applauds and understands what you're going through. Um, our neighbors to the south, we've seen them go through this with Sandy. Our neighbors to the east in Schoharie during the Irene, um, and following both Irene and Lee. So we understand what it takes to rebuild a community. Um, because for, for two reasons we understand that. Certainly we understand it from an infrastructure perspective. We understand it from uh, you rebuilding your lives, your communities. Um, and we know that in order to do that, you need um, to have partners um, and partners to do that. And we take very seriously a part of our brand that says we want to be um, here with customers and for customers. So um, to that end, a couple, two things I wanted to share with you today. First, today we announced a $2 million um, economic revitalization uh, program where we are looking to partner or identify those commercial um, and industrial as well as agribusiness uh, that were impacted by the flood to help you regain and rebuild your main streets, to help um, rebuild, revitalize your business community. Um, we know that your business community is certainly some of the bread and butter of what happens right here. So our objective is to work with those businesses to help them uh, kind of retool, get back on track. One of our, our uh, senior economic development managers here, Joe Russo, can you just wave your hand in the back? Uh, Joe could help those commercial businesses that were impacted by the flood really understand a little bit more of the parameters of the program and I encourage you to step to the back. And secondly, the other piece, so we are thinking about the commercial end. Now from the residential end, we have partnered with our wonderful friends at NYSERDA uh, to really help give and provide information about um, one of the key programs uh, called the Empower Program. There are income guidelines for that program, but we want you to go to the back and get information to see if you qualify. And that is for no cost heating equipment. So we encourage you to go to the back table as well. And we as well have information about electric restoration as well as our own um, rebate programs for customers that fall outside of those uh, heat eligibility guidelines. Again, our pleasure to be here. And more importantly, it's our commitment to be here because you are not only our customers, but you're our friends and our family as well. So certainly on behalf of all of um, my, my family at National Grid, um, it's, it's our commitment to be here until the very last customer is restored and until you rebuild your community. 